Hello. Okay. Um, a tutorial about um, creating such such a belt or bands. Um, okay, let's go to the Nomad Sculpt app. Here, something like this. There are different ways to uh, create such things, um, but I show you a special one. Okay, let's delete this one. And go to the front view and we need the tube tool. I turn off the perspective view and I use the path. Draw only a straight line here. And here in the settings of the tube, you can adjust the divisions. We don't need much. Um, you can go low poly. And at the top, there's a snapping function. Turn it on, snap, and then bring the, the tube node here. And at the bottom, there's a lock function. Press the lock. Now you can uh, place here the tube. I do only a small, small one. And now look at this uh, position. You can adjust the radius, make it real thin, uh, a small, a small radius, like this. And this is um, the <laughs> I hope <laughs> the pronunciation is right. The thickness of the belt. Um, okay, you can adjust here a, a few points if you like. Um, because uh, the mesh is shining through and here we need another point. Okay. And now let's give it a color to see it better. Not so a little bit lighter. Okay. And in the scene menu, there, uh, there's a, the clone or duplicate button. Um, and also, now we can use the gizmo. Okay. Go in the front view and adjust the pivot. At the left side, there's a pivot function. And you can uh, rotate it a little bit um, like this and turn it off. And now you can duplicate in the scene menu your tube and bring it a little bit to the side. And now you have on, on such a curved mesh, you have to adjust your points a little bit. Uh, only adjust the, the notes here and um, the rest is fine, I think or here a little bit and next step is duplicate it and move the mesh uh, the next uh, thing a little bit On flat surfaces, it um, yes, it's not. Um, you don't have to adjust it, um, but the curves, when you move it, then sometimes it's not perfect. Okay. And um, overlap every tube to the other tube. I think it's okay. The last one.
Okay. I think it's okay. Oh, step back. And now in the scene menu, select, swipe down, select all the tubes. And in the voxel remesh um, slider, you can play around a little bit with it. And voxel remesh, uh, voxel merge it. Zack. And go a step back and uh, try a higher poly count. And I think we need uh, this one, such, or a little bit lower, merge it. Yes. And you can press a few times on the voxel remesher um, and see what happens. Uh, you can go back. Okay, let's use this one. And you can try uh, one time subdivide and uh, then use smooth um, intensity, uh, low intensity and smooth it a little bit and if you want to get it low poly then use here in the settings uh, decimation function and let's test it. Decimate it one time, two times, three times, four times and the last one. And now you got a clean contour of the belt, like this. I turn the wireframe off. And if you like, you can, you can again voxel remesh it with a higher resolution. Uh, remesh it, turn the wireframe on. Sorry, we need more. And then you can smooth again to get cleaner, cleaner edges or um, yes, and then again decimate it. I think this is this is okay. Smooth shading is on. Yes, you can play a, a little bit with it. Okay, that's it. Have fun with sculpting. Ciao.